my name is Elizabeth Heller, and today I will be discussing Michael Kors. Okay, so for the agenda today, I'm going to talk about Michael Kors, the company itself, its competitive strategy, its marketing strategy, brand profiling, um, perceptual mapping, focus group findings, and then the conclusion. So about Michael Kors, it's a global luxury lifestyle brand with a jet set aesthetics. It's led by the American fashion icon, Michael Kors himself. Um, Michael Kors, actually some fun facts about him. He dropped out of high school, or he dropped out of college to create his own clothing company and brand, which was probably the best thing he could have done because now he's a millionaire. Um, so Michael Kors operates in three segments, retail, wholesale, and licensing. Um, as you can see, retail is 48%, wholesale is 47, and licensing is five. Um, they have 288 North American retail stores and 117 international retail stores, which I will go over this later on where they're located internationally. So now competitive strengths. They are rapidly growing as a luxury lifestyle brand with the best in class growth. Um, their design vision led by the world renowned award-winning designer Michael Kors himself. And their multi-format retail segment with significant growth and opportunity. Um, Michael Kors is on and off the runway and he's on the red carpet. As you can see, he does have his own fashion shows where he promotes his clothing and handbags. Okay, so this is Michael Kors store at the JFK terminal. Um, as you can see, they have stores located everywhere. They have handbags, watches. Their watches are in a case so people can't steal them because they're very, um, they're worth a lot. So um, as you can see, they have places, not only stores, but they have them in airports. So they push their product out as much as they can. Plus a lot of people fly and a lot of people's money fly. So they can buy themselves a new bag before they go on vacation or sunglasses. So next, this is the Dieseldorf in Germany. Another place they're located, this is international. Um, similar setup to the store as this just in the JFK terminal. But um, as you can see, they are located all over the world. Now onto their licensing strategy. So their licensing partners, they have watches with Fossil, jewelry with Fossil, fragrances with Estee Lauder, and eyewear. Um, now to move on to the marketing strategy. So they have a lot of advertising and marketing for the company and this is half of the reason they do so well. So as you can see, this is print advertising. They're in Allure, um, Naples, Team Magazine Daily, and a lot more, but they get a lot of their promotion in magazines and a lot of women in the area buy these magazines and then get their products. Along with print advertising, they have outdoor advertising. Um, if anyone here in the room has been to New York City, you will see um, billboards and buildings that Michael Kors is everywhere. Um, as you can see here, they have them on tour buses, buildings, they're in New York City, shown everywhere with their models using the product. Another form is direct mail. This is something that has been lost as the time has gone by, but Michael Kors still does it. They will mail out magazines and ads and anything to promote their product. And a lot of people throw them away, but some people do open them and receive coupons with them, and then they buy more products from Michael Kors. Along with that, they do social media. They have a Facebook with over 16 million fans. They have a YouTube account where people post videos of their products. 
Um, they have Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and some Chinese. Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> but as you can see, they have a lot of followers and they have a big following. A lot of people have their purses. I myself have a lot of their purses, watches, and sunglasses. Um, not only do they do men's, but they do, or women's, they have men's apparel also. Okay, like I mentioned before, they are on and off the red carpet. This is Michael Kors himself with one of his models on the red carpet, um, Jennifer Lopez, and she is sporting one of his dresses. Um, next is Jessica Alba, once again with Michael Kors on the red carpet, and she's wearing one of his dresses also. And then again at the end, um, all of these models and famous actors do wear Michael Kors products, which shows that it is a luxury brand for famous people, but the ordinary person can also buy it too. Um, the market share, they have luxury handbags. Um, okay, Michael Kors is 11.3, right down here in the orange, um, which is a big section. They have a lot of handbags and they're known for their handbags. If you bring up Michael Kors, the first thing people will talk about are their handbags. They have all different colors. They're all made out of leather and 